What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. Hope you guys are staying safe during this global pandemic. I know we are all going to get through this and before you know it, we'll be back to our normal activities. This is my last video in my current ongoing 31 days upload schedule. And I'm really really excited because I'll finally get to rest. You know, it's not easy to be making videos and uploading daily. Just wanted to let you guys know so that when you see me suddenly stop uploading, you won't be worried. Just know I'm safe and alright. With that said, for this video, I'm going to show you guys three different ways of drawing attention to your subject or separating your subject from the background or making your photo look more 3D. Like just when someone looks at your picture, the first thing they see is your subject. That's what I'm going to show you guys in this video. Whichever theme you always use for it, that's just the shot of it. So without further ado, let's begin. The first technique I'm going to share with you guys is called variation in luminosity. So what this technique is all about is intentionally manipulating the brightness between the subject and the background you know generally when someone looks at the picture one of the things that they first see is the brightest part of the picture before they even look at the darker part of the picture that's where the attention goes first so if your subject is the brightest part of the picture then when someone looks at the picture the first thing they'll see is the subject before they see the background that's what this first technique is all about and we are going to use this picture that was shot by Louis M. Cara. I have a video on my channel and now I edited this picture from this point to this point. So the link will be down there in the description box. You can also check my channel page for it. I have like the full tutorial from beginning to end. Just in case you want to see how I edited it from here to here. So for this technique, we are going to use... A technique that has been around in photography for centuries it's called dodge and burn there are different ways you can do this but we are going to use dodge and burn for this picture dodge and burn is just a technique that helps you to intentionally brighten or darken some part of the picture just to draw your viewers attention to the point that you want them to focus on so for that i'm going to show you guys a very very easy way of creating a dodge and burn layer so that we can use for this tutorial so we are just going to click on this icon at the bottom of the layers tab here we'll select curves then under curves we'll change the blend mode from normal to multiply that is for the bone bone is for the darkening layer then dodge is for the brightening layer so for this one i'm going to name it burn as i told you guys around you know when you burn something it becomes darker then i'm going to invert this mask by clicking command i or control i on the keyboard depending on if you're on windows or mac then i'm going to create another curves layer and then this one i'm going to change the blend mode to screen then i'm going to invert it now if anything i'm doing here is confusing you i made a full tutorial on how to use dodge and burn is the video i made yesterday so you should go and watch it like you learn a lot this one is just a quick version of it that one is really really in-depth i'll leave a link to it in the description every video i mention everything i mention in this video i'll leave a link to them in the description box so do well to check the description box for the links to anything i mentioned in this video so i'll rename this one to dodge now we are going to use a brush and I'm going to set the flow to, let me say 5. I'll set the foreground color to white. If you want to reset the current swatches to default, just click on the D key on your keyboard and X to invert it. So if you want to move the foreground color to the back or the background color to the foreground, then you just press X. So I already did the skin dodge and burn here. So what I'm going to really do to the background is to burn it. I'm not really going to dodge it. So I'm going to use a brush with a flow of five, and I'm going to use a a really soft brush. Like I'll take the hardness to zero, and the size will be relative to the area we are brushing. So to just darken it, I just click on this layer mask. My foreground color is white and then brush over that part as you can see it's becoming darker so just do the same around the picture as you can see as I'm brushing it it's darkening 
as you are brushing a bigger area increase your brush size if you are brushing a smaller area you reduce your brush size so that's how to go about it so i'll just keep brushing now let me toggle the layer on and off so that you can see what we've done so far this is before this is after you can see how amazing the difference is already just look at this before after before everything was in the same luminosity level right now the whole thing has changed the background is darker and our tension goes to the subject when you look at the picture first if you want to enhance that you can use the dodge layer and just brighten the foreground just brighten the part that are brighter that way when someone looks at the picture for example the face it will be the first place that the attention go to if you want to make it even more dramatic you can add vignette so i'll create a new layer i normally use the gradient tool for my vignetting so i'll click on it change my foreground color to black i'll place the cursor on her face hold my shift key and then drag from top to bottom now to create a a black vignette around it as you can see i reduce the opacity of the layer to around let's say 20 percent i can even make it soft light yep and as you can see it has taken let me just increase the opacity again it has taken the attention away from the darker portion of the image to the brighter portion of the image is really really effective this technique is a technique that was being used even before photoshop came to be it was used by masters of photography in the dark room to darken portion of their images and brighten some parts so when you look at it your tension will just go to where they want it to go you can look up photographers like hansel adams and fan who they use this technique a lot so let me toggle the before and after once again this is before after you can see how amazing the transformation is that's the number one way to draw attention to your subject let's move to the second one the second technique i'm going to show you guys is creating a variation in the saturation of the foreground and the background the foreground being the subject so let's use this picture for example this is another picture that i retouched this and a picture by an amazing photographer i'll be chime i'll leave a link to his ig down there in the description box so you can go check him out and give him a follow i made a full video is it full video okay it was a color grading video and now i got okay it was a full video and now i got from here to here so if you want to see this amazing transformation check down there in the description box and also in my channel page so the second technique as i told you is about making the subject either more saturated than the background or more desaturated than the background let me show you what i'm talking about i'm going to create a hue and saturation layer here before i do that i'm going to quickly make a selection of my subject so let me use the new photoshop tool that can do that i'll just click on this layer scroll to the bottom and click on select subject let's see if it will work okay here we are it did a pretty decent job at selecting the subject but it wasn't perfect so i'll just add in some of the missing part so that we can go ahead okay i've made a very rough selection of the of the subject here i don't want it to be perfect this is a tutorial not a portfolio building edit so i'm going to just invert the mask so that to select only the background then i'm going to create a layer mask on this hue and saturation layer if you don't know how to make selections on like in photoshop i made a tutorial on that too so don't be don't feel bad i'm going to now desaturate the background by moving this slider to the left and just notice what is happening what can you notice as the saturation of the background is going down the subject is popping out let me toggle it on and off off and on you can see the difference right you don't have to actually like make it completely black black and white before this technique works you just have to make sure that the difference is that is at least noticeable so when you are doing yours take time to make the selection so that it won't look weird but as you can see here the background and the foreground are competing for attention in terms of saturation i want you to just try out this experiment when you are looking at the picture a very good picture next time squint your eyes when you are looking at the picture and you notice that the most saturated 
object in the picture will be the most visible when you squint so that's how you notice that when you look at the picture one of the things aside from the brightness is the saturation of the picture that's one of the things that draw your attention to the subject or background anything that has the highest saturation is what you see first so when you turn this saturation down you notice that the subject will pop out of the picture and that way when someone looks at the picture the first thing they'll see is your subject and that is your goal so with that one done let's move to the third one the third technique i'm going to show you guys is some pro level stuff so this one will be like the hardest to pull off if you are new to photoshop and stuff like that so this one is all about manipulating the colors on your pictures to get a complementary color palette or to manipulate the colors in your picture so that your subject will be a different color from the background let me show you the ori original version of this picture this is the raw unedited version of this picture i also have a tutorial on how i edited this picture to this look and this look so if you're interested in that remember link in the description and also you can see it on my channel page so this was how the picture was and as you can see it your attention doesn't automatically go to the subject because there are so many colors and the difference between the brightness of the subject and the background everything is just all over the place is a real picture so you shouldn't be expecting too much from it but after i edited the picture this is what we got i changed the hue of the colors in the background so that the subject's outfit color is now the opposite color of the building and if you have a color wheel you can notice that this is called a teal and orange the official thing for it is complementary colors colors that are opposite each other in the color wheel so i made a tutorial on this how to get this complementary colors color grade i also did for this one and when you look at this picture now your attention will go to the subject because there is a contrast between the foreground and the background color if you even want to make it like more advanced let me show you you can make it that all the colors in the background are the same and that way only the subject has a different color and the contrast will even be greater if you want to make this even more dramatic you can change the color of the blues like these blues in the background to yellow so that should be the only one in a different color outfit that way the contrast will be much higher so to do that some colors are harder to change directly so you have to do it in two steps i'm going to turn off this layer under this teal and orange layer i'll create a hue and saturation layer adjustment layer on top of it then i'm going to go to the cyan because that's where these are jacket color falls in i'll change the hue to somewhere around there now i'm going to invert this mask and then brushing just the windows the part i want to change which is this let me just brush let me okay let me take the flow to 100 percent remember i'm setting from the other brush is still on so i've turned that to 100 percent and now i'm brushing just the part that we cyan before this is just a rough stuff i don't want to take too much of your time okay now we have the yellow so what i'm going to do now is to create a visible stamp layer like just match what is visible now into one flat layer so to do that i'll click shift option command e on my keyboard take the layer above this one down here and then i'm going to mask this same window that i did before so i'm going to copy this mask and put here then turn on the layer below and as you can see the yellows are now showing on this other layer so i'll create a new hue and saturation layer again copy this mask and apply there those colors are no more under cyan so i'll now use my color picker tool to select the coloring that it falls under it's now under yellows so I just tweak it a little bit more to fit into the color of the background, bring down the saturation and the lightness and although it's not perfect, but you can see now that when you look at the picture, the first thing that comes to your attention aside from the building is the, is the model because she's the only thing that is blue aside from the sky in the picture. Unlike before that, the background also had some blues in it like right here you can see the background has some blues but here it's just only the subject that way your attention goes 
only to the subject when you look at it if you had the dodge and burn and the saturation variation you notice that you have a picture that once the person look at it the first thing that they can see is the model so that's what this video was all about and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned a lot of things if you did click on the thumbs up button if you are new to the channel click on the subscribe button ring the bell that is next to it so that you don't miss out on other awesome videos in future thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next one